I have had such a super crazy sweet tooth lately. I think it's because it's like almost that time of the month for me. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I definitely ate a couple of those Oreos <laughs> just now. But um, this is what I made for dinner. So I was kind of doing a fridge clean out. Just kind of using up everything I had. I didn't want to go out and get anything. So I cut up all of my romaine lettuce from Whole Foods. I threw in a handful of the spinach, which looks really nice and crisp. I used the rest of these. There wasn't very much. These are glazed walnut pieces. Um, they're like candied kind of, so that's literally all there was. And then I cut up an apple and a pear, a whole apple and a whole pear. And then for protein, I fried up some chicken on the frying pan. So I'm thinking this is going to be two meals. Like this is way too much for me to eat all at once. Like this bowl is huge. I mean, here's my hand for size comparison. <laughs> So definitely too much for one meal, um, but I just kind of wanted to clean out the fridge. And then for dressing, I'm going to use this here. So I got this at Fry's, not Whole Foods or anything fancy, just Fry's or, or Kroger is what it's called at some places. But this is the Panera Bread Fuji Apple Vinaigrette Dressing. So I think I'm going to use that. And although it has a lot of sugar in it, I mean, this dressing alone has a bunch of sugar in it. Um, it's a relatively healthy meal. So yeah, that is my dinner for tonight. I'm pretty excited, pretty ingenious, right? I've never had a salad with pear in it before. So you can see like I have little pear slices and then apple slices. I'm pretty dang excited, I have to say. Okay guys, I'm actually on my way to Orange Theory. It is 10 o'clock and class starts at 10.30. So I need to get going real soon here. But I wanted to give you guys an update. So I've been going to Orange Theory for about a month and a half now. I upgraded my membership to the unlimited membership, so before I only had eight classes per month. That wasn't enough for me. I found that I really, really wanted more. I was getting that endorphin high, <laughs> as people call it. So I upgraded my membership to unlimited, and I've been going four to five times a week. Um, I don't feel like I've lost any weight. I actually haven't done my weekly weigh-in yet, but I, I think I've been like pretty consistent around the same weight which probably has something to do with my diet. I have not been eating well. Um, I've been eating crap, to be quite honest. But I feel like my body looks a lot better. But what I was noticing today is, look at that tush. I have never had, like, a rounded butt before. <laughs> this is the weirdest check-in ever. Usually, my butt is so flat. Like, I used to always be told in high school, like, the girl with no junk in her trunk. And, like, look at that. I will say, as part of our exercises, um, pretty much every class we do squats and weighted squats. So I think that might have something to do with it. But I saw that and I was like, dang. So, anyways, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know. I feel like I'm not quite as bloated. I feel a lot more strong. I feel like my core and my arms are a lot stronger. My legs still have lots of work to do. They're not strong at all. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's, that's about it for now. I'm going to go ahead and head off to class. But, uh, yeah, that's Orange Theory for you. All right, guys, if you don't follow my fitness Instagram, you totally should because I post these recaps after pretty much every workout on there. So today's workout, I burned 667 calories. I have been wanting to break the 700-calorie mark like for the past couple of weeks now and I feel like I push harder and harder and harder every single class and I just can't seem to get past like the 660 mark. I've gotten to 698 once before. I was two calories away but it's like I keep pushing and pushing and today's class was so stinking hard. So, um, so usually, oh my god I look like crap. Um, usually the classes are half cardio, half strength, so you do 30 minutes cardio, 30 minutes strength. Well, today we did five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, and we kept hopping back and forth, and literally I felt like I was going to throw up. Like, I've already haven't been feeling very well the past couple of days. I actually didn't go to Orange Theory the past two days. Come on, camera, focus. Um, so this was the first day, and my nails are terrible, I'm sorry. Um, in two days, the, you know, I've taken the last two days off. I can't even talk straight right now, I'm sorry guys. But anyways, I post these recaps on my fitness Instagram, which I will put on the screen right here for you, but it's melsmakeup.ateate. -E. 
Um, and so yeah, you can see, and I put a little summary of the workout and I tell you like how I felt and what happened. So yeah, here was today's workout. I had a lot, 34 minutes in the orange zone, which is crazy. I had a really hard time bringing my heart rate down today. I think it's because I wasn't feeling good and I constantly had that like, I'm going to throw up feeling. So usually you're supposed to have more green minutes than orange minutes. Orange minutes is like your heart rate is in the fat burning zone. So it's not a bad thing, but it's like I couldn't bring it down for some reason. So that was bad. Well, good and bad. And then there's a Whole Foods right next to my Orange Theory. And this is quickly becoming like one of my favorite places to shop. It's very expensive. Like what I bought today, my total was $44. But it's they have really cool stuff there. Like just really different, interesting things. So I've been having like a snacky like crunchy. I really want to eat chips lately, but I haven't given in and I don't have anything in the house to eat. So I bought these. Um, these are organic. They're kind of like those Ritz crackers with like the cheese and the peanut butter. So I got one of each just to test them out. I mean, there isn't a whole lot in these boxes and they're obviously not the best snack food, but I've just had like I've wanted to eat something crunchy lately, so, and then on top of that, my sweet tooth. So I got some bananas for my smoothies. I got some croutons for salads. I got a new vinaigrette dressing. So this is Anne's Natural Raspberry Vinaigrette. So I haven't tried that before. These, ugh, these are by the register and I had to get them. They're gluten-free. Not that I'm trying to be gluten-free anymore, but... Um, they're flourless cocoa chewy cookies, Whew. but you can tell how expensive. I mean, three seventy-five for four cookies. It's kind of a lot. And then this was also by the register. I figured I can put this on apples or something. So it's van vanilla almond butter. Like how yummy does that taste? The ingredients are almonds, sugar, cocoa butter, vanilla, and salt, and palm fruit oil. Anyways, that just sounded too good to say no to. Then for my smoothies, I got more strawberries, these salads, you guys. So I tried to make my own yesterday, <laughs> and it just, it gave the apple no justice, like the apple salad no justice. So this is only $4, which actually isn't that bad because I can get two salads out of it. There's apples, carrots, and then like mixed greens and spinach in it, and it is so good if you mix it with like, I'm going to use that raspberry vinaigrette. So good. So I bought two of those. And then I bought more of these. So I bought these last time I was at Whole Foods. Come on, camera. There we go. Um, and they were really, really good. I mean, they're obviously not the healthiest. I can get two meals out of it because there's eight pieces in it. But in one little chunk, so I eat four of them, there's 45 calories, zero grams of sugar, six grams of protein, and one gram of fat. So, I mean, they're actually, it's it's not really that bad. There's just... I have a lot of cheese in them and then last but certainly not least I got some squash noodles so somebody at work has been telling me to try spaghetti squash is that right so instead of pasta you use squash and I just am confused by that to like how to make it so they sell these at Whole Foods this was six dollars which is kind of a lot of money but um, it's like pre grated or whatever so I can use this instead of pasta and make spaghetti with like ground turkey and spaghetti sauce and it will be a lot more healthy than pasta. So yeah, all of that for $44. It's kind of a lot, huh? Hey guys, so it is a Friday morning for me. I took the day off of work. I had some stuff to do this morning, but I am home and it is about 8.30. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to kind of share my day with you or give you guys some updates. I've been listening to audiobooks a lot lately, by the way. This book, Fangirl, so good, so good. <laughs> so um, this is what I'm having for breakfast. So I actually read a like workout blog that said that protein and carbs are like basically what you want to eat before you work out. Um, and I haven't had any breakfast this morning yet. So I have some whole wheat toast and some peanut butter. I just use Jif peanut butter because that natural peanut butter, I'll be honest, guys, is so gross. Like, maybe it's an acquired taste. I have no idea. That's a dog cookie, by the way. Um, but it has, like, oil floating on the top of it. Like, it's just, this is, is better. 
I don't anyway. So I'm um, the blog suggested one slice of toast with peanut butter. I'm having two because I haven't eaten at all today, and I'm so hungry. So there's that. Um, I signed up for a Orange Theory class that starts at 9:30, so I have about a half hour to get ready and then head over there. I wanted to show you guys. I, by the time this video goes up, I don't know if this will still be a deal. Um, because my videos are a little bit delayed. So, for example, today um, my gluten-free part two vlog went up. So that tells you how delayed my videos are. But Victoria's Secret is having a really, really good deal right now on their sports bras and their pants. So um, this, by the way, I had to get this. It's so cute and it's so me because I always have messy buns. But look, messy bun and getting stuff done. So cute. This is a small, by the way, and it is humongous. So. Anyways, they are having a buy any sports bra, get a pair of athletic pants for $25. And these pants are usually like right around $65. Yeah, these are $64.50. And these are not the pink brand. These are the VSX brand, which is like really, really nice quality. They're really thick. They're made out of like that polyester um, I don't, actually don't know if it's polyester. I probably should tell you, uh, poly, polyamide, I, I don't know what that is, um, and then lycra, I, I have no idea, but it has, like, that soft, stretchy material, so I got a pair of full-length pants, because I actually do not have any full-length workout pants. Of course, I'm not going to wear them now, it's still 100 degrees outside, but, this will be perfect for the winter time. And then I got a pair of just plain black crops that look like this. Same material. They're really, really nice. They're thick and they like suck you in. I have a couple of pairs of pants, um, this brand already, and they have like elastic on the inside. So I really like them. I wear a size medium and they fit pretty well. They're medium rise, by the way medium rise form fitting so anyways you buy a sports bra you get these for $25 which in and of itself is already like a $40 discount because pants are usually $60 on top of that these bras so these are my favorite types of sports bras so they have a oh this is so hard to do with one hand one second okay so they have this zipper closure but underneath of that, they have a regular like front closure right here. So you clip them closed, and then you have this little flap that zips over the top. So here's what the black one looks like. So zip, and then it just unclips like that. So the front clip alone, I feel like, provides a lot of support. The back is like crisscrossed, so it just, I, they fit so well, and they like support you so well. So then you clip it in the front, and then on top of that, you zip everything in. Like, I'm a chesty person. I'm a D, sometimes a double D. So it's just, it's nice to hold everything in. And I don't feel like my boobs are flopping around as I'm working out. So I really like these. These are usually $60. Um, yeah, or $56. Sorry, $56.50. These are on sale right now for $35. You can see this when they put, like, a little sale sticker on it. So they go from $56 to $35. So that is another $20 discount. And then you get the pants for $25 still. So it's like a $60 plus dollar savings that you're getting. So I took advantage of that. I have a couple of these front clothes bras in my dirty laundry right now. Not to show you guys my dirty laundry, but like here's another bra. I've had this bra forever. Um, but that's how I knew I liked it because I, I have, it's like one of those front zip ones. And then I also took advantage of the $25 pant deal a little while ago. Um, and I got, this is weird, me showing you my dirty laundry. But I got these pants right here from Victoria's Secret. They're the same fabric. And then I got a sports bra, ugh, here it is, to match. So this one's kind of fun. It's purple, but it has like the clip and then the zip closure. So, look at the back of this one. This one's really cool. But I got this before these bras were on sale for $35. So, that I paid full price for. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope the deal is still going on by the time this vlog goes up. But even if it's not, I highly, highly recommend these sports bras. Like, they are just quite amazing. 
I have to say. So this is probably really weird, but I'm going to share it with you guys anyways. So I just got back from Orange Theory and I wore my new pants today, the ones that I just showed you guys. And when I took them off, I noticed that there's like this reinforced area right here on the crotch. Um, which is kind of weird, but I actually really like it because you know how you sweat while he's auto really bad right there? It's just kind of nice that Victoria's Secret thought about that and put like reinforced like more stuff there, you know, so you don't sweat through them. So, I don't know. I thought I'd share with you. I really, really enjoy these pants. They fit well, and I definitely recommend them. Alright guys, before I close out this vlog, I wanted to give you an update on my weight. So, it is Saturday morning, which is usually when I do all of my weekly weigh-ins. And last night, if you can't tell from my voice, I, got, <laughs> I went to the Jason Aldean concert and I lost my voice. Which means I ate terrible, I had In-N-Out Burger, and I had some beer. So I'm really not expecting too much from this, but I just wanted to show you what I do on a weekly basis. I put the scale down. It says 151. So let me just try it again just to make sure. Sometimes the scale doesn't read correctly. Yeah, 151. So it's more than I weighed last time I weighed in. I weighed like 147 last time I weighed in. But to be fair to myself and to be honest with you guys, I'm just like double checking it because I feel like it should be more than that to be honest. But um, to be fair to you guys, I have not been eating well at all, uh, hence in and out Burger and beer. Um, but I've been going to Orange Theory quite a bit. So that's that. That is my weekly weigh-in. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get this day started. Time to go to Orange Theory. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got back from the mall. I went to the mall with my mom and my sister. And I picked up some fitness stuff that I wanted to show you guys. I'm um, sorry if I sound a little bit stuffy. It's because I'm actually feeling a little bit sick. I don't know why. Um, but anyways, push through it. Go to the mall. Um, and I haven't showed you my face in a while. So, hello. <laughs> I'm feeling weird, you guys. I don't, I don't know what's going on. So um, I bought a lot of workout and fitness related stuff at the mall, which is so funny because six months ago, if I showed you my mall haul, it would look totally different from this. So I just, it's a different, it's a change of pace for me. And I hope that you guys don't mind the overload of like hauls um, on this vlog channel recently, but I like, I like to show you this stuff. Do you guys like to see this stuff? So let me know down below if you like to see it. But I went to GNC and JCPenney's and got some stuff. So at GNC, the first thing I got is a new shaker bottle. So I actually only have one shaker bottle. Now I have two. And I have to wash it every day, which first world problems, right? But um, I figured I'd get a second one just so I can not have to wash it every day. And then I got um, a new 30-day supply of the Quest Protein Powder. So I finished my strawberries and cream one, which was so, so, so good. But I was kind of getting tired of the strawberry flavor, even though it was so delicious. So I got the chocolate one. Um, it's really good. I've tried it before. And then additionally, I got two little single servings of some Quest Protein Powders. So I got the peanut butter one, which I've never tried before. And I've been on a peanut butter kick lately. So... Hopefully that's good. And then I got the cookies and cream one. And then additionally, I got these right here, which are pre-made shakes. So these are the GNC brand lean shakes, high protein shakes. There's 25 of them in here. 25? No, what does that 25 mean? There's 12 of them in here? Yeah, there's 12. It says 12 right there. But these were on sale. So originally this box is $30 or $29.99. And they had it on sale for $14.99 because this is actually last year's stock. So they expire in October of this year. And it's, it's only early August right now for me. So I could definitely drink them in time. And I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin spice flavored beverages. I'll be honest, if you've watched any of my other like makeup videos, I've talked to you guys about that before. But um, I tried a sample of this, and it's really good. Like, it has a little bit of a cinnamony aftertaste, and it's just like, it kind of tastes like candy corn. <laughs> like, it's really good. So I'm really looking forward to that. Me and my sister both bought that. And then I bought some more of these Lenny and Larry's snacks, protein snacks. So these cookies are so good, you guys. I've actually never tried these two flavors before. 
but I have had their cookies before and they're really good. They're protein cookies. They're kind of good for like a pre-workout midday snack. I usually eat it like right after work, right before I go to Orange Theory. And um, I really like it. I only eat half of the cookie though because they are quite calorie filled. It's like 350 calories for a whole cookie. So it's a lot of calories. But those are good. And then I saw these brownies, which I have never seen before, the Lenny and Larry's brownies. So peanut butter, peanut butter. You can tell I'm on a peanut butter kick. So I got two of the peanut butter ones, a cookies and cream, and then a triple chocolate brownie. Um, my mom actually got the peanut butter flavored one too, and I tried a little bit in the store. And it, they're, they're pretty good. They're really good. And the brownies are... Um, less calories. They're only 240 calories and 20 grams of protein, so they actually have more protein than the cookies. So maybe I will just buy the brownies from now on if they're that good. And then the last thing I got, I went to J.C. Penney's and my sister, or no, 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 it's not J.C. Penney's. It was Macy's. I'm sorry, guys. We also went to J.C. Penney, but I didn't buy anything at J.C. Penney. Um, Macy's. This was at Macy's, and they have a brand of workout gear called Ideology. Ideology? Yeah. And um, these shirts, they're so soft. They're 100% polyester, and they're really, like, thin fabric, very breathable, like that kind that dries really fast. So, sorry, I'm, I'm getting kind of tongue-tied. That's why I have my Dutch brothers right there, because <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, anyways, so I got this in a small. It's a pretty big small. Usually I get mediums in my shirts, but I think I'll be okay with the small for that. And then these pants I am so stinking excited for. So same brand, Ideology. They're like cropped yoga pants. And look at what it says on the side of the pants. Run like a girl. How cute is that? I can't wait to wear these. To <gasps> their... Lola, no barking, honey. Look at her creeping in. Look at that. What are you doing? You scared me. Stop. Stop. She scares me half to death when she barks. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. You're barking at the receipt. Oh my gosh. Stop. You're ruining mom's vlog. So anyways, um, yeah, I just think these are so cute. I can't wait to wear these to Orange Theory. Very, very cute. I got these in a medium. Um, so medium in the pants, small in the top. And this was actually, they were like on really, really good deal. Together, the shirt and the pants ended up being only like $32. And originally, the shirt is $19.50. Can't see it. Focus. Um, and then the pants are originally like $50. Bucks. So not bad at all. Got some good deals. So that is my little mini fitness haul.